Skeeters begins his third year at Delaware State. And the season is underway. DeMarco Bacham controls the opening tip. You'll see a lot of man pressure out of Dale State as well. And to the basket, Davian Williamson, who played for Forbes, as you mentioned, at ETSU. He's one of those guys that I think is really going to have a, a, a nice season. He can handle the ball, can play a lot of positions. Nice pass. It's Zach Kent inside, who, like Jalen Johnson for Wake, is also a transfer from Tennessee. Davian Williamson has the Deeks' only bucket. Isaiah Wilkins kicks it, and Masood buries the three. That's absolutely true. Good switch that time defensively by the Hornets. Wake Forest has got to recognize mismatches. Wilkins feeds inside. Mecius lays it in. They're not scrolling this possession, but there's spacing. You can drive. You can cut. There's the back screen right there. Ian Dubose to the basket. His first two as a deacon. Like that. Back screens, giving him the ball, and let him work from one angle to the other. But he was able to come up there and get that upset win over the Deeks. That's a good shot there to get things going for Delaware State. Think of Pinky Wiley primarily as a guy that drives. They had Roberts last year who led the MIAC in scoring. This guy had 10, had 100 assists, but he can knock down threes very well. Good season for Delaware State, but a lot of new elements to this team offensively. Trying to figure out some things defensively as well. They'll play better. There you Nothing go. Nothing but net for Wiley. Yeah. Watch Wiley. Again, good ball movement. Comes off the screen on the sides. In rhythm. Catch, turn, scored. A lot of great guards in basketball through the years with great names. And Martez Robinson, freshman from Owing Mills, Maryland. Wake Forest feet in the post. Ingram going to work on the block and gets the roll. So Tariq Ingram has his first points. To try to take it in the hole or make the skip pass for the three. If you're going to dunk, you're going to try to put pressure on him. But if you can't handle the ball, you're not going to be able to put pressure because you're giving the ball back to the other team. Grant was a longtime assistant for Coach Big House Gaines right here in Winston-Salem and played for him. So B.J. mackey has got a great family, great bloodlines. A couple free throws for Martez Robinson. Two on Musius and two on Masood. And Dale State last year was a team that really didn't get to the free throw line more than the opponents. Nice high-low look. Yeah, really nice pass by Kent, and Bennett lays it in. Sky and in there, Dubose. See, the shots are going to fall, but you've got to get a rhythm. There you go. Tariq Ingram for two. Trying to add to it. In and out, but another offensive rebound and stick back wow. Jalen Johnson. Jalen Johnson. See how Wake handles it here. Jalen Johnson. Nothing but net. That's nice. Eight for eight. Ingram. Reverses. DuBose. Dill State's got to put a little more pressure on the basketball. And another triple. This time Johnson from the corner. It's a good matchup here. Ingram's got the size and the chance for three. Tariq Ingram. See how you close this basketball game for Wake Forest. And if you're going to try to get back in at Delaware State, well, Isaiah you got Wilkins shot of downtown. Play. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like ISO basketball. You're standing around, nobody's getting anything, and then you're not doing anything with defense. Man. Count it. Nothing but net again for Jonah Antonio. I'm high. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, Antonio from the other side puts it in. Jonah Antonio putting on a three-point shooting display. The old days, ball you man. See, got it, got it pass lane, steal. There you go. Isaiah Wilkins takes it to the bucket. And a careless pass. Outlets ahead. And splitting the fender, scooping it up. Everything but the bucket there for DuBose. Ingram cleans it up, and the Deacons lead is 32. Wow. He's looked very comfortable out there. Full court pressure, a little one-two, one-one pressure. They'll drop back, probably in the zone, but maybe in man. Fergala knocks down the three, and that's the first field goal. All right, Musi has played six seconds in the second half, picked up his third foul, and then subbed out Isaiah Wilkins back in, and Zach Kent picks up where he started in the first half. We're getting in foul trouble. Here's Dubose, leaves it for Masood, buries it. 
He's a pure three-point shooter. That's what I like to hear. And now he's playing some five for Steve Forbes, too. There's Ian DuBose knocking down the three. And that was another guy that we are expecting to be a big-time scorer. Go to the free-throw line and also pull up and make some jump shots. But uh, you, you look at what Massad has done. He is the team leader in three-point baskets returning this season. Massoud rejected on a nice dish. Uses the Massoud screen. Gets all the way to the cup and goes glass for two. Great drive. Johnson was at NC State and Ed Leftwich and C.B. Claiborne over at Duke. and A lot of people that people don't talk about today. Good inside play. Kind of made Pinky the only available point guard. So he led the league in minutes as a freshman. Basically because they didn't have anybody else. And he got a lot of valuable experience. And really hasn't looked back since that day. Steve Forbes was after that mask spike. And the question is, will we see another mask spike, I don't know, at an official or at a player or something over the course of the season? <laughs> Seeing him break. I'll tell you, Martez Robinson has a quick step to the ball. Can he knock down the three? He That's can. a good look. And originally had four teams in it, but Alabama State backing out. So only one Hornets. Delaware State with a stinging three. Deep shot there. Yeah, I know. You know, it's, <laughs> it's early. not in midseason form. I know. Jalen Johnson. For but, he, but he is. Yes, he is. <laughs> he is. Good hands there. Wilkins, another steal, his fifth. And on the way to the basket. Two and a foul for Davian Williamson. No, you, you're reaching or you're, you're taking the block and didn't get there. Oh, nice. Wilkins, the cutter, and Masood found him. Oh, that's sweet. Get about the opponent. This is now an opportunity to try to get, get basketball ready. Ishmael Masood, not exactly what he was looking for, but it went in. So Little backspin there. Nice anticipation by Musius. Yeah, but you got to do something on that pass. You just can't just catch it and throw it. Make a ball a fake. Beautiful move up and under. Quadri Adams. Unable to connect. That was a nice move. Adams feeling it. The freshman from Jersey. We did ask Steve Forbes what his favorite food is on Thanksgiving. He said, quote, I'm a turkey guy. In the ball game. Yes, it does. <laughs> Cross Meanwhile, knock it down. Boom. The fourth three of the game. After five minutes to play here in the second half. And inside, persevering to Kobe Neath. Bauckham gives it up to Smith for two. There you go. I want to see you execute. I may actually need you another day. So I don't, I don't want any crazy plays. I don't want any turnovers. I want good looks. Adams continues to fill it up. It'll be a long season. A lot of adversity this year on and off the court. So how will you handle it? I like that. Grant Van Beveren for two. This, I mean, uh, this Wake Forest basketball team, here's what's going to happen. Here's, here's what I can tell you. It's one game, yes. Boom! Quadri Adams detonates. Quadri Adams, the fifth deacon in double figures. Push ahead, bam! Scout the Lancers under Griff Aldrich, third-year coach. Nice pass. Well done there. Smith finishes on the run. Five Deeks in double figures. As you saw the graphic, seven Deeks with nine or more. And Steve Forbes is 1-0 in Winston-Salem with a 60-point win over the Delaware State Hornets.